All right, so came out here again on the James. Went to Lagana last weekend, did not catch a lot of fish, so did not make a video, but um, the water temperature is like 44. We had a lot of rain last week. Um, I think it was over two inches in like a day. Water is definitely still a little murky looking. Um, looks like the actual like depth is not crazy. It doesn't look super flooded, but uh, probably gonna be a tough day. Um, but we're gonna see if we can't get into some. I'm gonna try uh, going down the river a little bit and see what we can do. <clears throat> All right, gonna try some of these main river areas, this dock edge or some jetties, uh, some rock. Like I said earlier, water's kind of murky, so I don't like running this thing too much in murky water, but we're gonna see what we can do. It's actually a really warm day. It's gonna be like 65 in the middle of December. But the water's freezing. I thought I have a giant where I'm hung like that. This is a fish, this is a tank. No way it's a fish. Oh my god, I have a giant. Okay. Yes, sir! Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Cannot believe that was the best. Wow. Guys, this is a tank. This is a tank. And sorry for the cussing, but geez, what a monster. I cannot believe right off that jetty. I don't know, this thing is thick. Look at that thing. It's not very long, so I don't know if it'll quite go five, but oh my goodness, look at the fat on that. Wow. You can actually see, that thing was just laying on the jetty. Look at that mud just on him. Wow, that's a, wow, that's a good start to the day. All right, I'm gonna grab a weight on it and try to get back out there. Wow. All right, so I went ahead and took a weight. It was right at 4.30, so that's about four pounds, five ounces. It fought like an absolute 10 pounder. I cannot believe how much it fought. A lot of times in the winter, we're on these jetties and stuff, there's like rocks and brick, you kind of hang up on them. Um, but eh, it was a bass. It was just really, really lazy. And then at the end, it just started really bulldogging me. But glad to get her. We're gonna go ahead and cut her loose. Now they just there. Yeah. All right. So I was trying to show you kind of what I'm doing. So I mean, I don't know if you can see that log there in the water. I wasn't necessarily fishing the log, but like these little cutoff spots right here. The James just has like rock jetties. Um, that just come out and I guess they break up the tide or whatever but it's just a pile of rocks and it kind of drops off into 15 20 feet of water depending might be 30 feet out here and so you can really see where they're at because that tree is just kind of stuck on the rocks I threw at it and uh it hit it really hard but like I said I thought it might have just been either hung on a rock or a stick or you never know what's down here um but obviously it was a fish so we're going to try to work all the way down this line um, there's a few more on them and uh see if we can't get another one all right, so we ran the uh, main river pattern for a while. Definitely resulted in a pretty good one. Um, so it's probably gonna be trip made with that one fish most likely, but uh, gonna come in here and try some of these pits. Last time I was out here, they weren't successful at all, but um, didn't really get any more bites in about 45 minutes to an hour, fishing kind of the similar little jetties and rocks and main lake points, um, I guess main river points. So we're gonna try out in here. I fish in here pretty often and sometimes you can get a stack of them. Alright, so I gave that a solid 30 minutes, didn't get a single bite. Uh, threw the jerk bait in there, threw the spinner bait, threw the chatter bait a little bit. I'm going to go kind of back to where I started um, off this little main river area. 
um, and kind of give that one more pass to see if maybe the fish have moved a little bit more up on those rocks. Um, but it's going to be tough to probably get a few more bites. I mean, the water is 10 degrees cooler than it was last weekend. Um, the hottest I've seen so far is 44. Majority of the rivers are about 42 and a half, 43 degrees. So definitely not very warm, but um, let's see if we can't get another bite. All right, so I'm gonna leave this spot and while I'm doing so, I'm just gonna kind of show you what I caught the one on earlier. Um, I was just throwing KVD, it's kind of the deep dive, and I think it's like the J300 uh, jerk bait. Um, three treble hooks, this one is like a Tennessee chrome, Tennessee shad style color. Um, I pair it with a loose reel, this one I think is 6.81, um, and then I use a medium action G Loomis rod with this, 6.6. I'm kind of short, so you can probably use a little bit longer rod, but this works best for me. Um, and then I use 15 pound fluorocarbon. Probably my favorite fluorocarbon is either uh, the Seaguar Abraze X or I use the XPS um, line. So that's kind of what I use a lot of times in the winter. I've had pretty good success on it. Um, the 15 pound test might be a little bit heavier than some people would use uh, for jerk bait in this type of, in the colder weather. Um, but the James is pretty muddy. So I don't think line size matters as much here. They're not quite as finicky based on that. The water's pretty dark, um, moving a lot. So I just like to make sure that if it gets wrapped around something in a rocker that I have a chance to kind of bring it out. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. It's been about four or five hours, probably three or so since I've had a bite. I'm gonna go home, watch some football, um, but I appreciate you watching. Feel free to subscribe. I'm trying to make as many videos as I can now that I have my boat back.